Kota Shimizu stands on the center starting block of an empty pool, looking out with a serious look on his face. He gets into the pool and with a deep breath begins to swim. The title reads, With My Eyes. Kota swims underwater. When I swim, I only think about catching up to swimmers who are faster than me. I don't think much about whether I can see or not. The caption reads, Kota Shimizu, university student and Paralympic swimmer. The caption reads, this camera projects images directly on the retina. I'm on my way to Okinawa. I have Stargot disease, which gives me an eyesight of between 0.04 and 0.05 in both eyes. I have no central vision, and as for my peripheral vision, some parts of it are still there, and some parts are gone. The caption reads, what does it mean to see? Part of me is just like, I can't be bothered to care about seeing anymore. But when I was able to see the scenery outside a plane using this camera, it kind of reminded me of what it actually means to be able to see. And that made me want to see other kinds of scenery. Kota views his laptop computer screen through the camera. That's under the sea, isn't it? I'm looking at a website showing the five prettiest beaches on Ishigaki Island in Okinawa. With a pool, you know exactly where the water ends, but with the ocean, the water just stretches for miles on end. I want to know what it looks like inside such a vast expanse of water. I usually have to ask others where to go, and then I just kind of vaguely follow along. But today, I made sure I could see which way I was going, so I feel really bright and full of energy. It just feels so different. Kota points the camera outside the plane window to see the scenery that passes him by. He arrives at Ishigaki Domestic Airport. Until now, I'd never planned my own trip or bought my own plane ticket. This is all so new for me, and I feel like I really accomplished something here. These soba noodles come with soki, spare ribs. Kota looks at the menu with his camera. I've never seen soki soba noodles. That's a pretty large chunk of meat. It looks like a really hearty meal. It's delicious. A photo of the meal that Kota took. Kota aims his camera around a shopping street and goes inside a store. Women like these, right? Chocolates? Having this camera and my smartphone around has really helped expand the world that I can see. It's just so much larger. But there's this part of me that's a little unsure, that's wondering if there are some things that I'm better off not being able to see. So my feelings about this are a bit complicated. Kota walks towards the beach on a sandy path lined with trees. I feel excited. I feel nervous. I'm feeling all kinds of things. Kota points his camera at the sea. I can see it. <laughs> it's huge and beautiful. I got the disease when I was in the fourth grade. I remember going to this big hospital, just me and my mom, and this doctor who specialized in low vision told us that I might never be able to see again. And my mom... She just broke down and cried. I think it's not just the eyes, you know? What we all want is to be happy with our bodies, be able to live without physical disabilities. So being able to see is a luxury to me. A beautiful white beach, Kota walks along using the camera as a guide. Good morning. Ready? Yes. To pedal a kayak, you need to swing the oar all the way in, okay? Got it? I got it, thanks. The kayak instructor guides Kota to the kayak and teaches him how to properly grip the oar. Kota rows the oar in the air to get used to the movement. Then he takes off, rowing the kayak out into the ocean. <laughs> it's hard! Kota stops and picks up his camera. 
The truth is, I always think about how great it is to be able to see. A part of me has been worried about how being able to see will affect the life I've built. But in the end, only I can decide whether to do something about it or not. That's the conclusion I arrived at on this trip. So you know, I'm really glad I decided to take this trip. I think my mom would, I think she'll be pretty proud about how much I've grown. Just by doing things and being confident while doing them, I want to show her how much I can do all by myself. Under the sea. <laughs> It's so much more beautiful than I imagined. I never thought I'd get to see that. The waves coming in when you don't expect, the smell of the sea, it all made me feel like I was right there in the middle of nature. It's an all-time top three experience. I hope this can be a message that if you're worried like I once was about how you're going to get by without being able to see, that there are ways for you to still be able to see. When I first experienced this disability, I didn't know about assistive devices. I remember becoming really depressed when I thought about how I was going to get by from now on. I don't want people to go through the same thing I did. So I hope we'll get to see more cameras like this and more assistive devices that can immediately make life easier for people who have the same condition. Kolta smiles as he points his camera at the water and takes pictures of the ocean, fish, and plant life. Kolta drifts in a kayak on the clear waters of Ishigaki Island. The caption reads, Cutie Laser, Shining a Light on Human Potential. <laughs>